Hi, welcome to Ramblin' Rose. Uh, my name is Renee Zock. I'm a University of Minnesota Master Gardener in Becker County. And today we are in my garden of raised beds. And you might want to know why I have raised beds. Well, some people, as we age, things change. We can't get down on the ground quite as easily. And um, the raised beds afford us to continue doing what we love and yet not have to suffer doing it. Um, another reason that I like my gardens uh, to be raised are weeds. And um, we live out in a wooded area and we kind of took land away from the forest and I think the forest is trying to take it back as the weeds get to be quite overwhelming. And uh, you can also extend your growing season by uh, having raised beds. You can uh, cover them up in the spring to warm the soil up. And then also in the fall, you can put covers on if you're expecting a frost. Um, you can purchase kits to, for raised beds, or you can make your own. And there's various uh, materials you can use. Some people use uh, retaining wall stones. Uh, we choose to use treated lumber and we put a liner on the inside before we put the soil in. Now my, you can do the height, whatever is comfort comfortable for you. Mine happened to be about 24 inches. And so we don't have anything planted that needs that depth of soil. So what we do after we have the bed in place, then we put stones on the bottom and we take some of our regular soil and put it in. And then we put in about eight to 10 inches of um, good soil. We, we purchase some, um, you know, if you have extra loamy good soil, uh, feel free to use that. The one thing about a raised bed is it does require more water than if you just have those uh, a regular garden. And uh, it also will need a little bit more fertilizer because um, when it rains or when you water the fertilizer, a lot of it just goes down to the bottom. Um, I also amend my soil with compost every year. It, um, it just gives them a, a little bit more oomph or whatever you might say. Um, another thing is the uh, hoops. They, uh, aside from extending the growing season, um, they also, you can uh, put, purchase a fabric to put over them. And this uh, happens to be uh, cauliflower. And we have a little moth that likes to come and lay its eggs. And then you will have little green worms in your cauliflower. So you can put that over and that takes care of, of the, of the uh, worms. Um, the one thing you want to do is keep a journal of what you've put in each bed. You can either draw a diagram or take pictures, you know, however, just uh, so then you can rotate your crops. Uh, like especially tomatoes, you don't want to put in the same bed each year. And um, as you can see, uh, we live in the forest, so the fence is uh, pretty necessary for us. Uh, when we first started, we uh, didn't have a fence, and I'm sure the deer thought, well, that was really nice of them to you know, put the plants up so we don't have to bend over to eat them. So anyway, that's what the fence is all about. Um, as far as uh, plants, put in whatever you like. We love kohlrabi, so this is a bed of kohlrabi. And, um, as any place, if you put in the wrong plant, it will take over. Uh, garlic chives happen to be um, very fond of this, and so we'll be getting rid of the garlic chives uh, at the end of the season. Onions, tried an experiment this year. I'm not quite sure how well it's working, but um, hopefully we'll have uh, some nice onions out of this by the end of the season. Um, speaking of weeding, this is my weeding. And um, that's about um, all of the uh, weeding that needs to be done. Just walk through your garden every once in a while and uh, pull them out and you'll be good to go. And thank you for uh, tuning in today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call the uh, Becker County Extension Office and uh, our Master Gardeners are there Monday and Friday. Thank you and have a good day.